Welcome to Rhonda here with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make this chicken enchilada casserole using only five ingredients. This is absolutely fantastic, fast, easy, and your family and friends are going to love it. To get this started, you're gonna need four cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, four cups of shredded cooked chicken. Now I've had chicken tenders in the refrigerator that I poached, but if you wanna pick up a rotisserie chicken at your local supermarket and shred that to four cups, you may. One and one fourth cups of sour cream, a 28 ounce can of your green enchilada sauce. But if you can only find the 10 ounce cans of your green enchilada sauce, go ahead and use three of those. That's gonna be 30 ounces and that's two ounces over the 28, so that'll be okay. And you're going to need nine corn tortillas and these are six inches. Let me show you how we're gonna get this together. I've been cutting my tortillas in quarters using a pizza cutter, but if you wanna use a really sharp knife, you may do that too. You wanna to make sure all your tortillas are cut into quarters like this. Now comes the fun part. In a 13 by nine inch greased baking dish, we're going to add half the chicken to the bottom here. That's gonna be two cups. Get it as even as you can. Add half of that green enchilada sauce to the top of this add dollops of our sour cream and you're going to use half of your sour cream add half of the tortillas so if we've got nine shells we're going to use four and a half of your shells here to the top and oh my goodness it is smelling so absolutely fan Fantastic. To this, I'm gonna put this over here like that. Add half of our Monterey Jack cheese. Just get it as even as possible because in every little bite, you wanna get a taste of all five of these fantastic ingredients. Add the last layer of chicken as evenly as you can here on top of your cheese. And at this time, you want your oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Back with the rest of that green enchilada sauce. Add your final layer of your sour cream. I started using a spoon and it seemed to really spread it out a little bit better evenly. Again, we're going to add those corn tortillas and the last layer of this Monterey Jack cheese. Push it over to the edge because there's nothing like getting to the edge of your casserole and not having it cheesy and delicious. Cover with tin foil or whatever cover you have before adding this into your preheated oven. On the middle rack for 40 minutes, use your timer and no peaking. 40 minutes are up and we're gonna remove the top of the tin foil. I'm gonna turn off my timer up here and looky there. All right, it's nice and bubbly and we're gonna bake this for an additional 10 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden bubbly around the edges. Use your timer and no peeking. Took it out of the oven and look how lovely and bubbly it is. I'm gonna let this cool for about 15 minutes and I'll dig into it and tell you what it's like. I'm gonna add a little parsley to the top just for color and looks and a little flavor. Let's see what this chicken enchilada casserole is all about. I'm gonna go in for a corner piece here. Oh, look how cheesy and fantastic that is. Mm, piping hot still. I gotta get a little bit of that chicken, a little bit of that corn tortilla. Mm, the cheese, the sauce. Wow, it's gonna be hot. And if you let it sit for a little longer, it's gonna firm up. Those cheeses and tortillas gonna absorb the liquid and 
you're going to have a little bit more structure here to your chicken enchilada casserole. All right, here we go. Mmm. The green enchilada sauce, the chicken, the tortillas, it's still really super hot. Mmm. Needs to cool just a little bit longer, but I couldn't wait to dig in and tell you what it's like. It is absolutely so delicious. Five ingredients to this fantastic chicken enchilada casserole. Hope you give it a try. Leave me a comment. Give me thumbs up. Follow me here on YouTube and Instagram, and I'll catch you lovely people later.